and we're back guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video for you guys today. I am going to be doing a tarot and oracle haul. Before we get started, I want to say a huge shout out to my brother <laughs> and subscriber for cleaning out my Amazon wish list. Um, and he actually sent me five of the decks on the table. So thank you, thank you so much to my brother. And I also have an indie deck for you guys today as well. So, and for all you guys who have been jumping on my live streams, thank you for being there. I love you guys. We have so much fun and I laugh so much. So thank you guys for showing up there. And I thanks for hanging in with me if you just like to watch the flip throughs because I have plenty more content. I just kind of had to get settled in my new space and I have a little bit new setup. I'm gonna see how this works out today, but let's just jump right into it and we're gonna do the damn thing. Alrighty, so I don't really have a method to my order, um, except for the fact that I really, really want to look through Terror of the Kingdoms. So this is gonna be up first. It comes in very nice packaging, actually. I don't mind. Um, we have a magnetic closure. It has a really cute book. Um, I saw on Becca Talks and Tarot, she raved about this deck and had really, really great things to say. The artwork is typically not um, something it, that I would lean toward in my collection, but something about this really, really drew me in. And there's a couple cards in each deck that I'm gonna show you today that are kind of the reasoning behind why I wanted to get some of the decks. So this one's really colorful. Another weird thing I guess you could say is, I, I have cycled through a lot of different decks in my day um, and I like to give things away and kind of, if I'm not using something, I like to rehome it. Um, and hold on, let me show you the cards while I'm showing you the book still. So, oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. So on camera, I don't, I don't know if the color is picking up like super amazingly, but even though it's more of a pastel tone, I really, really like this color palette. So here's the deck. The deck does seem a little bit bowed, but nothing no, nothing that I wouldn't do on my own just by shuffling it. The, paper, the cardstock itself feels very uh, papery and cardboardy, but I actually don't mind it. Um, so let's just do a really quick, like, not complete flip through, but <coughs> I wanna show you guys a little bit about the artwork of this deck. So one of the reasons why I wanted this deck was because many moons ago, I worked with, um, the other thing I want to show you guys really quick, I know I'm like squirrel, random, all over the place. The The majors and the suits have different border colors, which I think is, I, I really like that in a deck. I think it's fun. Um, but one of the reasons I really wanted this deck was I used to work a lot with the um, Angel Tarot with Doreen from, from Doreen Virtue when I first started out. And I felt like I had graduated from that. It really, I just didn't like using it, using it anymore. It was a fun deck and it was gilded and I was into the angel thing. But um, that being said, I, I didn't like that it had the meanings on the cards. And as I, you know, perfected, uh, I'm not perfect, but as I continue to grow in my practice, I just felt like I really outgrew, wow, look at this Empress. I just felt like I had really outgrown that deck and I wanted something that had still a not so much innocent quality to it, but just a more just a lighter feeling to it, um, because I don't have a lot of decks that have that. Um, or if I do think that a deck is going to be a little bit lighter, I start to work with it, and I'm like, oh no, you're you're giving me some truth bombs. So um, anyway, don't know if any of that makes sense, but this is just um, it's really stunning. The artwork is unique and I really love it. There's a few, um, there's one card particular in the deck that I really wanna show you guys. And I think I'm gonna do that with each of the decks to show you like, this is the reason why I really wanted this deck. So outside of, you know, how stunning this is, um, and to each their own with, you know, the art style. I mean, just 
this is it's really vibrant in person it really really is just so cool um so one of the major things that sold me on this deck was i am a major major water person and the cups which is our element of water has these gorgeous blue borders and it all they also have mermaids um throughout the suit which i think is so cute um anything mermaid i'm like sold look how beautiful this is just really really stunning um, and then I really also liked the suit of pentacles as well, which I typically is my favorite suit. Um, and there, there's a lot of trees here. There's also a lot of animals in this deck, which I love. But I want to show you my favorite card in this deck, which is our Page of Earth. This is the reason, the main reason, <laughs> I mean, I love the deck in its entirety, but this is just, I'm loving this card so much. So this is kind of what sold me, but I also love the water suit. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I haven't read with it. Um, I usually don't get this many decks at once um, and I like to bond and cleanse them and so I really wanted to do a walkthrough um, and just haul review with you guys because I need to start getting these on my table and on my live streams and I want to start working with them and doing client readings. Okay, so there's two additional extra cards in this deck. Um, we have Spirit and the Universe, which I love both of these, and I will probably use both of these in my readings because I can deeply resonate with both of these. So um, I'm here for it. I am here for it. So that's Terror of the Kingdoms. I didn't go into a ton of detail about the book, um, but I've heard great, great things about it. And for purposes of time, we are moving on to the next deck. Alrighty, so our next deck is Oracle. This is the secret language of light. Before we jump into this, I do wanna say that this is a blue angel deck. Um, and this one has, what was the publishing? Okay, so it was originally published in 2019 and it was a glossy card deck. Unpopular opinion, I don't mind a glossy deck actually. My Radiant Wise Spirit, which we're about to go through that I just got that one's glossy and that's part of the reason I wanted to get it because I don't mind it. Um, Blue Angel recently went through and they're re doing a, new printings in a matte cardstock, which is actually the case for this deck. Um, so let's take a peek. The packaging is good. The box is very sturdy. The, I mean, these colors, stunning. Black and white book. It smells nice. <laughs> this one smells really good if you're into the smelling your cards. Um, a couple things to say about this deck. I was hoping I would get a glossy version, but I got a matte version and that's 100% okay because I don't think they make it glossy anymore because most people want their matte card stock, which is fine. Um, another thing about this deck was I am very selective on the decks that I bring into my collection because I don't want, I do have a decent size, but I just, I don't want it to be like completely outrageous. And I also need to make sure that I'm always touching and using and um, I'm, I have a good rotation with my decks because that's just how I like to work. And this was something I thought I would really like to bring into my collection. I don't always like cards that are not, um, up and down but this um like horizontal vertical versus vertical um but this deck really spoke to me and i'm going to show you why so when you look at these cards there there's something about them that is very activating and when i saw reviews of this i just thought this is something that i need it resonates with me um so i'm going to show you a few cards and then i'm going to show you look at the back of these as well stunning um i want to show you so not all of them are the same way, which is fine. 
they are definitely oracle size maybe even bigger than an oracle size these are this is a large card stock um i can show you let me grab a radiant wise so like quite larger than a regular standard tarot um, okay, so let me show you my favorite card here and what really drew me to it. I love that these images can really pull you in and let your intuition kind of run wild in the reading, which is something, you know, I love. But let me show you my favorite card in this deck. Nothing is wrong. When I saw this, I thought I, I really needed to have this deck because nothing or nothing has gone wrong and it's just it's just shows the yin and the yang and I I love it so I won't babble on about that but I'll just show you a few more cards in this deck I just think it's a unique one and I love the artwork. I love how, you know, fantasy, the fantasy vibes and um, I just love it. I just love it. But we have several more decks to get through. So let's move on to the next one. If you want to see a full flip through of any of these, let me know and I would be happy to do it. All right. So since we already pulled it out, Let's move on to the Radiant Wise. This is probably not that exciting for you guys. Um, I wanted alternatives to my current RWS that I have. Um, I have this really like unbrand, like I don't know what brand it is. I have this, when I do my tarot um, collection, which I haven't done yet, I'll show you guys, but I have a super cheapo tarot deck that I got on Amazon for like 11 bucks and I love how it shuffles. I love the coloring to it. It isn't, um, it's not any of like the popular decks that you see, but I'll show you which one it is when I do that haul or when I do that collection rather. But um, I was, I debated between getting this one versus the, um, the other popular borderless one out there that has the green backs and, um, you know, Pam's signature and all that stuff. I can't remember why I sound like a moron right now because I can't remember. But anyways, I ultimately went with this after seeing it on film and maybe because this one is so glossy, I just decided I wanted it. Plus I love the backs of these. So let's get into it. You guys have seen this a million times. This isn't really exciting, but I'm happy to have it in my collection because oftentimes, especially when I'm doing live streams or if I'm doing like a ton of readings at once, and I really want to change something up. Um, I love pulling in an RWS just because it's, you know, it's the, the tried and true and it's, you know, the original artwork and I love it. So, but I need, yeah, I needed more. I need some more RWS decks. So, okay. So this is maybe a bit more than your average little white book. So, okay. I can get on board with that. Probably won't use it, but you know, maybe take a peek at it from here and there. It's got some spreads in here. Okay, so maybe a little bit, a step up from your standard little white book. Um, I do like the coloring on here. So these are the backs. Again, this is, this is nothing that you haven't seen before, but indulge me in my... <laughs> And it's newness to me, right? I like the backs and I like how it picks up on camera. I have a light right over this, so probably isn't the best, but that's all right. I love how it picks up on film and it's glossy. It feels nice. I'm really glad I have this. I'm really glad that I have this. The coloring is very nice. We'll just flip through the majors really quickly and then we'll move on to the next one.
this is a very um, colorful deck. I mean, I just feel like the color is a little bit more saturated in this deck um, on the death card specifically than in some other decks, which I like. I am very pleased with this and I think I'm going to get a lot of great use out of it. Alrighty. Let's grab, let's do another Oracle. So, I try to be discerning with my, actually with Tarot and Oracle when I bring it. I just wanna make sure that really resonates with me. And this next one, I've had my eye on for a little while. Alrighty, so next up we have the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. This, I've seen a few flip throughs of this and I really, really enjoyed it. This is another Blue Angel deck. Um, Sedona Soulfire, Tess Whitehurst um, are the creators of this deck. The copyright on this is 2020. These are also going to be a matte card cardstock. Alrighty, so let's take a peek at our guidebook. Guidebook is also black and white. It gives you a decent amount, I think, for each card, which is good. Some more than others. That's exciting. Let's take a quick peek at what these look like. Alrighty, so, oopsies. Oh, there's something on this card. Oh, I'll investigate later. These are the backs. I'm going in reverse our order. There are 44 in this deck. Sorry about that. I really like the color saturation. This was one of my favorite cards, Honor the Process, with this gorgeous monarch butterfly. Love it. There's just a lot about this deck, I think, that is a little bit honestly assessed. I think it's a little bit different than some other decks I've seen with the, the meanings and the artwork, and I am here for it. Celebrate growth and breakthroughs, practice daily. I just really like, um, I really, really like the, um, the prompts of the cards, I think is really great. Improvise, love it. Again, if you wanna see a full flip through, just let me know. Commit, communicate, spirit, be authentic. I just think it's a really fun, really fun deck. There's some good diversity in this deck. I don't know if that's appropriation, but there's that. If that's possibly an issue for anybody, consult with your body's wisdom. Yeah, so there's also different body shapes in here. I had to flip back to that card like, um, is this gonna be a, everyone's cup of tea? Not sure, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. So this is the, Cosmic Dancer. Alrighty, so we are going to move on to, I have two more tricks for you guys. Our next one is, again, this may not be very exciting for that many people, but um, the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot, I've been wanting this 
for a while and I'll show you why. So it just comes in this little tuck box. Nothing, nothing to see here. Look at the back of these, you guys. This is a, I would say standard tarot size, possibly maybe even a little bit smaller. Let's look at our Radiant Wise Spirit. Let's do the test. Maybe a tiny bit big, smaller, a tiny bit smaller than an average tarot card. But look at the back of these. I just, I looked at this, I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with this one. And after seeing a few more reviews and actually seeing it in action, I think is what finally um, sold me on this deck. So let's take a peek at the artwork. Our magician is a woman here, which I love. My favorite card is coming up, which you'll see, which is part of the, it was the final, okay, I'm definitely getting this, is um, gonna be our death card. Oh, look at this, you guys. The strength is just stunning. The color saturation is very, very nice. I also like, there's something about, the color saturation in this that I really enjoy. But I wanna to get to the death card and show you guys. <laughs> this has gotta be one of my favorite death cards, I think. I just love it. So um, let's take a few, let's look at a few more. Our three of cups, that is fun. It's a little pippy. It's a little pippy. Which is fine. I, it's like, it's like, I can't even really just, it's like pippy, but not. I don't know. Wow, the six of wands. It's almost like, it's like victory, but she's, um, it's a different vibe. It's a different mood to the Six of Wands. That's very interesting. It's like she's won, but she's exhausted. Or she's won, but like, wow, that's very interesting. This is a really cool deck, so I'm really glad I got it. Alrighty, let's move on to our final deck in this haul is another tarot. And this is an indie deck. I have the Star Seeker Tarot for you guys. Oh yeah, it came with, I wanted to, I unwrapped and you know, undid everything just for save on time. But I just wanna say that this was um, packaged very, very well, very securely, um, very pretty. And it, she did include a few things um, in the, uh, excuse me, I'm like drawing a blank. In the packaging, she included this little card that says, thank you, thanks for supporting Star Seeker Tarot, you know, this indie deck. And there's a little sticker of the star card, which I thought is awesome. It is a 79 card deck by Nikki Ferrata. Um, I think I actually purchased this from her shop on Etsy, so you can get that there. And let's take a peek. I have, oh man, that's nice. <laughs> Box is very nice. I like these, this kind of enclosure. The color palette on this thing is stunning, stunning. The book, excuse me, oh my gosh, I cannot. This is, I think this is gonna be one of my new faves. The book is not super thick. Um, 
Let's take a little peek at it. So we got our little emperor card. So there's a little bit of information for each card, which I'm fine with. I don't, unless it's a different, unless it's a different funky deck with a different kind of a system, I typically don't read from it, the book. You guys, <laughs> I don't know if this is picking up the color, these are edged in a matte purple and they are absolutely stunning. The color palette and the art style on this for me is top, top notch. We have a rose petal finish, but it's not, I can't explain it. It's not like the, um, I feel like it's easier to handle than the moon child, if that makes sense. And maybe because it is the size of an average um, standard size deck, maybe that's what it is. Because sometimes it's like the rose petal finish decks are stunning and they feel nice. But when you go to shuffle and handle them a ton, um, especially if you're doing like, you know, fast and furious readings or however you, however, whatever you want to do. Um, I, I beat the crap out of my deck. So I find that those sometimes get a little weird over time. Maybe I'm the only one, but um, let's take a look at this stunner. I mean, come on. Again, I don't want to do a full, full flip through, but I just wanted to share how cool this deck is and how cool this artwork is. I can't wait to use this on my lives. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> the page. Our Knight of Swords. Wow. I look at the look on her face. It's like, that is Queen of Swords. I like how airy the king is here. I pulled right open to Ten of Wands. I like, this reminds me of like Christmas lights. The edges of those wands. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups. It's kind of a spooky Eight of Cups. I kind of love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I have more content coming your way soon, and we'll see you in the next one.